Hey, it's Carl. Thanks for joining me in this video. In this video, I want to talk about time. Um, probably one of the most frustrating things as an artist or some, someone looking to create is trying to find the time. Uh, I used to use that excuse all the time in regards to I can't find the time. The problem is, is that we actually have to look beyond the conventional time. So if we want to get what we really want, we have to actually create our own time. So I was once told that you can either create a business or you can make excuses, but you can't do both of them. So what you need to do is start to look about, look at how you actually utilize your time. Now, when I started researching or at least investigating my own situation, I started to find little hiccups along the way. So probably one of the biggest killers was email. I was constantly checking my email all the time and I was actually doing that while I was right in the middle of what we call real productive work time. And the problem with this is that it leads down a rabbit hole of distraction and you find it very difficult to actually get back into your working rhythm. It can take anywhere up to 15 minutes, at least that's my experience. And by then you've kind of lost your momentum. Not only was I the only one that was dealing with this problem, I of course spoke to other people and there are of course a lot of other people that find themselves getting lost in email and reacting. So that's the biggest problem is that you're in reaction mode as soon as you start to get off the path of producing really good work and you start reacting or at least responding to things like email. Now, why do we do it? Well, my understanding of it is that we need the need for contact. Uh, it's, it's a level of trying to find significance in ourselves. So um, it's almost like a kid that's running to the letterbox on Christmas day, um, waiting to get that, uh, Christmas card from grandmother. They they want proof that someone is actually thinking of them, and at least that's that's the principle behind it all. And they want to get attention from. They they actually want to get the attention that they desire. And essentially, there's no not really that different from us jumping onto email or uh, you know scouring through social media, which is obviously a huge time killer. Now, when I was jumping on my email, I was actually responding to genuine inquiries. What was happening is that I was like that little kid running towards the letterbox to receive that prize of attention. And that's ultimately what we're looking for when we sort of get distracted. We're looking for that instant gratification. Of course, as I mentioned, this problem is a major problem with social media as well. We're constantly wanting to access our popularity, so to speak. Instead of actually doing our work, we're looking for, it's almost kind of narcissistic in a lot of respects. And as Seth Godin says, the internet is essentially one big cocktail party. And it's quite true. So what I did is I started to implement and keeping time of what I was actually doing. And it was a really dry, boring process to have to go through. But what it did is actually started to show me how I was using my time or rather wasn't using my time well. Now, I wasn't really that disciplined in facilitating that activity to begin with. And it's quite easy not to do it because it is incredibly boring. I actually wanted to discover um, establish where time was being wasted and where I could potentially utilize my time better. So what I was doing is actually using about 15 minutes, at least most days of the week to try and establish how I was recording my, uh, actually using my time. So I was actually recording it. Now I will admit, as I mentioned, it is, it is boring as batshit to have to do, but it does give you a lot of insight into how much time you are actually wasting. And it does really put on the pedestal how many excuses you are making. At least that was my experience. Now, I had a tendency to drift quite a bit. So um, in regards to how I was using my time. So recording this time and really having a good look at it really gave me that insight on how I can actually stop suffering or this self-suffering in regards to not having enough time and start to go, well, it looks like you're just essentially lying to yourself because there is time here. You're just allowing yourself to be distracted and not focusing on how you use your time well. Another thing that I discovered is that it wasn't so much about time management uh, because at the end of the day, we can't really control time. Time is gonna continue to tick away regardless of what we do. But what I did establish is that it's more to do with a, a, a personal 
energy management. So it's how you actually manage your energy more so than how you can actually manage time. So what I started to do is actually started focusing more on how am I using my energy because it, 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 it actually starts from anywhere from your thinking to how you're actually fueling your body as well so that you do have the energy to make the best use of your time and how you put yourself in certain situations. So you can run around and try and control time, but it's never ever gonna work. It's more, it's more to do with how you actually can control your energy and also your thinking towards time and your energy as well. So one of the first things that I did was to start my day earlier. So I wanted to steal a few hours before anybody else had got up. And I knew that it was critically important that it's all good and well to get up early, but you wanna make sure that you're very well organized in regards to being able to hit the track straight away. So you wanna be, want be able to get up and actually start producing work right off the bat. You don't wanna to have to be organizing things to actually start work because that's just gonna put you off and it's gonna justify why you, you shouldn't have to get up that early in, in the first place. So you wanna make sure that you're really well organized. So if it's a matter of going into your art studio, you wanna make sure that all you need to do is click on the light, bang, you're ready to go. Um, if it's anything to do with you organizing things with your marketing and writing, you wanna make sure that all you need to do is click on the light, bang, you're ready to type or you're ready to write. You don't wanna to have to do anything else apart from maybe just getting a glass of water and get going. Cause you wanna justify those first couple of hours that you get up early really well, because otherwise you're not gonna maintain it. And what I found is that when you actually start stealing time first thing in the morning is that you start to realize how much you did actually BS yourself for quite a while and you actually start to catch up on a lot of things that could have been done and now you're getting done first thing in the morning. And by doing this, ultimately you're gonna get what you want and you're gonna end the struggle and the frustration and also the belief that you don't have time because you actually, you do have the time, you just need to be able to manage your energy a lot better. And when you can do that, you'll start to achieve a whole lot more, which gives you a lot of momentum and it'll also give you a lot of confidence as well in regards to producing more work. You'll start to find ways that you can get things done and you'll also find ways that if you can't get it done, you'll find other people that will help you get it done, which is really efficient way of working. You'll also begin to realize that time really isn't that hard to find when you can actually create time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. If that's what you do, I do appreciate it. And I'll catch up with you next time uh, when we make another video. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it.